28 foot Passport Ultralight Bunkhouse here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Used camper, real sharp shape. Family owned it, loved it, went camping a lot. Kids grew up, they didn't need it anymore. Mom and dad swapped out their bunkhouse travel trailer for a couple's camper fifth wheel and never looked back. So, not that there's anything wrong with it, they just changed up their lifestyle basically. Only 4,700 pounds, potentially uh, very comfortably SUV towable, you know, if you got a solid tow package on stuff. 30-inch um, baggage door, so you can actually get big, wide stuff in there. And I like this. It has a little, um, like, uh, you know, um, what do I want to say, cooler right in here. With a little drain plug, so you can throw some ice and have your own little, I don't know, drink chest right there for either traditional pop or le barley variety. We're in Michigan. We call it pop up here still, like we're from Canada or something. Um, the rest of the country calls it soda or Coke. I always like that. What kind of Coke you want? A Pepsi? <laughs> Um, again, very lightweight trailer. Keystone's number one selling lightweight, and actually in their price point, the number one selling lightweight. And uh, uh, fully enclosed underbelly here, so good for extended season camping. Also good for critter prevention. And previous owners, for stability's sake, added these strong arm stabilizers to the stabilizer jacks. Those just, uh, once they're down, you just tighten that nut a little bit, and this camper will not have that rocky rolly effect. Um, kind of going down the road, the same concept here is that we have a wide stance stability uh, axle system. Axles are nine extra inches apart, and that gives you far more stability going down the road. Tires are in nice, clean shape, by the way. These folks, I mean, look at the shine. The folks took care of this thing. Um, you know, the exterior graphics are clean. They obviously kept it stored away from the sun. Uh, they kept it shined up. They did a very good job taking care of this one. This is that no worry used camper that you're looking for out there on the market. Uh, power awning, about, what is that, 16 foot-ish, something that range, 14 to 16 foot. And a little miniature outdoor kitchenette here, just a little cooktop and a little prep station here so that when you are uh, cooking outside, um, you've got a, a good way to keep the heat and the fumes and stuff from getting inside the camper. And again, good little preventative measures there, a little mud dauber screen so that the bugs and the wasps don't try building nests up in your warm furnace exhaust there. That is a good way to start a fire and a bad way to go camping and end a trip. Um, inside here, we've got a, uh, a nice bright colored decor and you know, lots of space. That's not the biggest, deepest slide you've ever seen. It's one of the ways they keep the weight down on this, but I mean, I'm not hurting for floor space in here. This is comfortable. You are not tripping over one another. Very, very solid camper. And this length at 4,700 pounds, holy crap, man, that's very good. Um, just like the exterior, interior is very well maintained. You see your fabrics are not shredded and torn up and frayed and whatnot. The countertops are all very good looking. I don't see any signs where like they splashed. I mean, look at the cleanliness of this thing. Spick and span, man. I wish. I tell you what, I wish more used RVs were in this kind of shape. Um, you know, I, I try to be brutally honest when I go through used RVs. If I see a problem with something, I make sure I say it. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know that's true. This is a very clean one. And I tell you what, those folks ever trade out their fifth wheel, I sure want to be the dealership they visit. I love the shoe garage here, because in a bunkhouse, you're going to have a lot of shoes, and you're going to have a big pile of shoes by the door. Gives you a spot to put all that. Not to mention, nice little spot for, uh, you know, hats and all that stuff you can throw in here, too. Utility center up here. Keeps the kids from... Uh, getting to things like your water heater buttons if you got little kids with you central air and heat so again awesome spring summer fall camper i like passport campers because we don't tend to have problems with them we sell them brand new you know i we, i love selling passports because i don't have problems with them if i sell one to a client i'm very confident it stays in their driveway and doesn't come back to haunt us you know um am fm cd dvd player and a nice little flat screen tv on a swing arm mount here so you don't need to bring along extra electronics Jack and Jill corner bunk system. One of the best parts about this bunk is that the kids can get themselves to the upper bunk here. Oh, look at this nice little touch. Got a little um, nightstand here for the kids, perfect for charging phones and things. That's a nice little touch. I haven't seen something like that in a little camper like this. Let me open this up so the skylight can do its work. Check that out. We do have a foot flush stool so you can keep your face away from your business. And an all enclosed bathroom so that everything takes place in one room. You can just shut the door and everything's all set uh pantry or closet this cabinetry here is adjustable so you can make this space whatever you need it to be and it can convert from one trip to the next there's nothing that says you have to take this shelf out and leave it out you know your countertops here are extra deep by the way 
And the easy way to tell that is these stove tops are all the same size. So if you look at how much space you have, that extra 12 inches roughly of space back there, you know it bigger, deeper countertops. And yes, there are outlets in the kitchen. Passport tries really hard not to put outlets inside a laminated wall because it's very difficult from a service standpoint. God forbid you ever need to try to work on that thing. Um, again, just big, wide open floor plan. Very open, very social. I like it. It's a camper, not an RV. And that's my favorite part about it. You know, this has nice space. If, if you're going to be stuck inside when it's raining all day, you got enough space to make it through. But, uh, you know, you're like I said, you're not hurting for space here. But if you are, uh, you know, your family like to get out there, hunker down, and then go outside, this is the camper. And this thing is so clean. I love it. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camp.